the Eastern Association for the Surgery of Trauma Practice Management Guidelines for Evaluation and Management of Small Bowel Obstruction. The authors are cited. The guidelines are divided on diagnosis and management. Level 1 recommendation for diagnosis is that CT of abdomen and pelvis should be considered on every patient with small bowel obstruction. It provides better information of grade, severity, and etiology of the small bowel over plain films. Level 2 is that gastrographic challenge should be considered in patients that fail to improve after initial 48 hours of conservative management. Level 3 recommendations are that these scans should be on a multi-detector scanner and multiplanar reconstruction should be used for his analysis. MRI and ultrasound are potential alternatives. They have their both the downsides and CT scanners are now ubiquitous. And the CT should be considering the aid of diagnosis of a volvulus, where a transition, multiple transition points, world sign, and posterior location are some of the described findings. With regards to management, level one recommendation is that patients with peritonitis on physical examination or with other evidence of clinical deterioration, such as persistent fever, leukocytosis, tachycardia, metabolic acidosis, and continuous pain should undergo timely surgical exploration. Patients without the said signs can initially safely undergo non-operative management. Level 2 recommendation is that the CT findings of bowel ischemia should have low threshold for exploration. Signs such as reduced bowel enhancements, wall thickening, mesenteric venous congestion, mesenteric fluid, and so unusual course of vasculature and ascites. Laparoscopy is also a viable option, and when successful, it reduces morbidity and length of stay. What is soluble contrast should be considered if there's no resolution after the initial 48 hours because it improves bowel function and decreases length of stay due to its diagnostic and therapeutic potential. Level 3 recommendation is that if there's no resolution by day 5, gastrographic challenge should be administered. Small bowel obstruction should also be considered for surgical admission. It's associated with a shorter length of stay, less hospital charges, and lower hospital mortality when compared to admissions to the medical service.